Hey everybody, I'm back again, and I'm gonna do a teaching on manhood, so the young generation can understand the characteristic in which what God set up as for us being men, and and how to grow as a man, and, and, and the direction of a man, and where the origin of a man come from. The origin of a man comes from God, because God. It is the example of a man. So, so those just things I want to bring. I want to bring because you know no one's really teaching black kids about being a man. For the adults, well, you're an adult. You know, I mean, you could come watch the video or you could whatever to learn what you should have learned. When you was a child, or you missed out on for whatever reason, I don't know. But mainly, it's for the young people to have something where, where the parents probably not able to teach them, or not even understanding what where where's the process of man come from, and how did it start it, and and, and and the way it started. So I'm just gonna bring that foundation to to becoming a man, because. The teaching has to start from somewhere, and so I'm going to um I'm going to talk about the um the um the origin of a man, uh, origin of a man. That just that just the bottom line. In order to understand being a black man, you first have to understand y'all in life. That's number one. In order to understand manhood, you have to understand y'all in life, cause that's where it all begins. That's where the whole concept comes from. And, 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 and that's just the beginning of being a man. It's understanding y'all. And then understanding life. Because once you understand these two concepts, now, now your mind is ready to receive. So you have to understand those two things before anything. Before you talking about sticking your chest out. Before you talking about getting a girl pregnant. Before you talking about having a family. Before you talking about I want to do this. I want to do that. No. You first have to understand y'all and life. That's that's where your foundation is going to begin. Because the world gets tricky and it gets dangerous. And it gets very influenced on different levels. So, so, so you, uh, in order to understand, you have to understand what I'm saying. So you have to understand, cause this is the game. So, 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 so now that you know the game, this is a game. Now you have to understand the fundamentals of where your thought process should are supposed to, or for more disciplined people must come from. So, and and that's what I'm going to do. Um. Um, um, it, it has to start with life, and it has to start with y'all. That that's the beginning. Y'all is the origin, is the original name or the origin name of who we call God. That's number one. You have to understand. You, it's okay you use the word God. It's okay you use certain. You say Jesus. All that's okay, but you have to understand the origin of it. That you have to understand because, again, again, I'm just breaking down. I'm just breaking it down to the most simplest form that I know how to break it down. So that's the origin. Origin is y'all. So when you say God, I hope your mind relate God with y'all. So, so, so that's what I hope for. And tell you this. So Yah is the original name name of God or who some people are the Bible says is Jehovah as well. So understand, make the connections of the two, because this is the origin in which we're dealing with. Now the Webster dictionary define man as a male, a male human being. That's what the Webster dictionary define man as. Again, now that's man's definition of of man. Now I'm going to give you God's definition of man. When y'all talks about man, he speaks about man in two forms. He speaks about man in two forms. Two forms. 
as a male or mankind, which means a human being, this form of man includes women. You have to understand. Because, see, if you read the Bible, the Bible say man, man, man. You have to understand. Is he talking about a male or he's talking about mankind? Or he talking about being a human? Or he talking about human beings? You have to be able to identify when you're reading what's going on in that chapter, that book. And that scripture, you have to understand the difference between all of these things because you might confuse them. And if you confuse it, then you're reading it wrong or you're getting the wrong message. So so that's important that you understand the difference in a form that God used man. So so now we got that, that God used it in two forms. He used it in a form where he's literally talking about a man. And he used it in a form where he's talking about a man and a woman. So th those two things you have to understand. Because he might say, man shouldn't sin. He don't mean me. He mean the world shouldn't sin. Male and female shouldn't, shouldn't sin. So you have to understand the direction and the communication in which which the Bible gives, gives it to you. Because again, I'm just here to break down the origin of things for you. That way, that way if you don't have a clue or... You don't have that male figure. You can always pick up this video. Are you a woman? You don't know how how to raise a man or what to teach teach your son and stuff. He can always write, look at this video. You can say, you know what? Write a report, and you make them write the report because it sticks in their mind better when they write. That way, they they're not just looking at a video and then forget. So you know, just just little ideas I'm giving you to run with, to run with. So that 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 just something. I'm giving. So the word of truth, which most people call the Holy Bible, says Yah created the heavens and the earth. That's very important. Because cause you got to understand the foundation. Number one, God is a man. This is what you have to understand. So, so now you have this, you have God, the Holy One, the Most High, Yahshua, Yah. You have him standing in, standing in the midst. And he said, I created the heavens and the earth. That's your first chapter that begins with that. And that's that. That's the question you have to ask yourself out of all the things he could have started out with. Why did he start it out with this? See, that's, that's when you, that, that's what you have to ask yourself. Because you can't just read and say God created the heavens and the earth and just read and read and read. No, why did he say that? Why did he why did he start out with, with that? Why why did why why was that technique taken first? It's the question. And and, and again, when you read, you have to ask yourself questions. You just can't read and don't think. That served no purpose. Again, Genesis, that's what it said. Genesis 1. It says, it says, it says, Genesis chapter 1 said, Y'all created the heavens and the earth. Again, I'm not quoting the exact scripture. Because the exact scripture, which I'm not going to do a lot of quoting the exact scriptures. That's why I'm giving you the chapter so you can go back and read it yourself. I'm just giving you the ideal and the structure. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Because it's not my job to read it for you. It's your job to read it. That's why so many of us get in trick. Because we're, we're going by what people say. No. You go and you read it. You know. I, I can quote the whole scripture. But I, I'm not going to quote it. That's something you need to go. And you need to see whether I'm lying or telling the truth. That's what you need to do. You know, I want to be a good teacher if I just say A, B, and C. And you say, yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's, that's not a good teacher. That, that, that's a person telling you anything. Or possibly can't be telling you anything. So, so a good, I, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to baby you. I'm not going to, going to um, say, yeah, I'm going to do this. And you don't know you need to read it for yourself. You need to. It'll help bring up your vocabulary. It'll help make your mind stronger. It'll help you think better. You might want to start reading more. Then you might want to do more. 
So so I'm not going to make you lazy. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that. So you need to go back and you need to correct me. You need to go and see if I'm saying it wrong. All right. You need to. It, 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 that's part of learning. That's part of you checking your effects. That's part of that's part of accuracy. So so you need to do that. So so a, a lot like I said, I'm not quoting scriptures word for word. No. That's going to be your job. You come and correct me if I'm wrong. You know, you do that. But again, God created the heavens and the earth. Why did he start it with that? So you can know he created the heavens and the earth. Well, you well you pretty much know that already. But it started. But he started out with y'all created. Y'all created. That says a lot in itself. That says a lot. Y'all created. Y'all created. That says a lot in itself. That that says a lot. Y'all created. Check this out now. In, in, in chapter 1 verse 3 says. God said let there be light. And there was light. Well Tavares. All he said was let there be light. And there was light. And if you thinking like that. That means you have not got it. That means. God is talking to the wall. If that's was your thought process, that means he he was talking to the wall. That's why I have to. That's why I have to do this because I'm tired of seeing black people getting killed. I'm tired of seeing it on the news, so I have to do this because if that's your thought process, that means you have not gotten it yet. Because so much don't went by in what I just said, and you and, and and I'm going to give it to you, just in case you don't get it. So I'm going to give it to you, so you can be like, oh, I didn't see that. I'm going to give it to you, but but don't always take scriptures to be lightly, or don't take it to be insignificant, because you don't see it, or you don't see it to be important. Because you don't know what it's telling you. But yet you see it so insignificant. You don't see it as important. But it is important. Because again. Again you probably look at it and say. God created the heaven and the earth. So, and, and what's so deep about that? But yet. Your kid is going to jail. Yet you going to jail. Yet. You don't know how to carry yourself like an adult. Yet yeah, you don't know how to speak like an adult. Yet yeah, you don't know how to dress like a man. Yet yeah, you don't know how to dress like a woman. It has a lot to do with it. Because you got to understand. This is this is the beginning of statue. Not just the beginning of God created. You got to understand. You have to understand what's going on here. By these two verses, there are two rules that a black man should know. Two rules already I done shot to you. Why you why you thinking or not seeing it? I done gave you two rules to the game. Just that quick. Oh, that wasn't important. That two rules. Two rules. Two rules that you should know. Mind you. Not two rules that you you don't suppose know that you should know. Two rules that you should know. Because Yah have shown us by example. He has shown us these two rules by examples. He has shown us. Most people can't see these rules. Yet they have read these verses so many times. What is Yah telling the black man? What is he telling us? I hear, I hear, I hear, I hear my people complaining about life and how hard it is. Slavery was over in 1865, and yet we have not connected with our first love, y'all. Why? 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 Why this generation blame God for 
everything goes wrong. Why? Why have not even connected with their first love? First love. Not your mama. Not your daddy. Not your baby mama. Not your best friend. Not your gay lover. None of that. Y'all is your first love. Again, you missing the boat. Your first love. Why haven't you connected with him? Why? 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 I hear people talk about talk about y'all the most high like he owes you something. Let me tell you something. The creator of all things don't owe you jack crap cause you here. He 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 create what he want to create whether you like it or not. Who are you to tell him not to create you? You the same person that says you have right. See, that smile means you don't know what you're talking about. Because if you have a right, God has the right to create you. Whether you like it or not. Whether you don't believe you should be here or not. He has that right to do that without your permission. Again, you not even, even acknowledging or knowing who's doing what. You just, you just, you just, you just a creation trying to tell, tell its creator what to do. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. It don't work that way. Because that's a lack of respect for the person that created you. You should have been glad that he had you on his mind. Period. With all your foolishness. Mind you. Mind you, Genesis chapter 1 starts out with y'all working. The Most High, it starts out with him working. Not sitting down doing nothing. Not sitting down looking, look, working. Meaning he has to move around. He has to start to move, do things. He had to, this you talking about the Most High had to work. So what make you think you don't have to work? My brother? What make you think you don't have to work, my brother? The master showed you by example, by by he he started out saying, "I created." That's work. That's go one rule. You need to work. That's another rule. Every man need to work. Every man need to try to work. Every man need to do something to work. That they go a rule I just gave you. A one rule right there. Need to work. I told you it's two rules I don't shot to you. There go one or I just gave to you. Two rules, two rules. That's rule one I gave. You need to work. Because if God, y'all had to work, don't ever think you better than y'all. So all that that go to you fellas that like to say, my woman taking care of me. You're not even on the level y'all is on. Understand that. You're not even on that level. Period. Cause, cause now I'm back, back trying to teach manhood to you all. So, so I need you to catch on. I need you to get the concept, and I need you to take it in and run with it. That's that's what I need. That's what I need. I I need you to understand. Cause if y'all had to work, then you know you have to work. That's just the bottom line. Some black men don't don't want to work. And I'm not talking about fellas that can't find a job. No, I'm talking about guys who don't even try to find a job. That's who I'm talking about. Again, if God had to work, you have to work. See, that's that just the bottom line. He's showing you by example. He ain't, he ain't just talking it, but he's showing you. He's te teaching you. He's teaching you. He's teaching you. Just, even Jesus said, so I, I do the things I seen, I seen my father do. Even Jesus said it. Even Jesus said it. Y'all sure said it. I do the things I seen my father do. 
He ain't say I did the thing that my father taught me to do. He said I seen him do this. Meaning God led by example. God led by example. I mean he he led by example. That that that's it. So if he had to work, you have to work. So start complaining. Start talking about it's hard. Because God did it when he didn't have to do it. He did it. He willingly did it. Without nobody asking him to. He did it. So 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 that that's something to think about. When you talking about I don't want to work, I don't want to do this, all that's something to think about. Then some black people don't realize that when black people was enslaved, they didn't get paid in white America or the United States for the work they have done. And they still is in debt to the black people. So this country is not debt. Not. So this country don't have good credit. Because they never paid for what they did in the past. So, they, so this country is not a, don't have good credit. For those that say, oh, white people have good credit. And I'm not talking about all white people. I'm not talking about all white people. I'm talking about certain white people. You have to qualify to be a part of that group. So, so again, they don't have good credit because they never paid for the damages they did in the past. And maybe that's where Donald Trump get his behavior from. Because, hey, they didn't pay Donald Trump. Say, well, I got to pay people that work for me. So, again, again, it's it just a repeat cycle. Pay attention, people. Pay attention. In Genesis verse 3, you can see God say, let there be light. And there was light. That show you that Yah is a God of his word. My brother, you got to learn to keep your word. Rule number two, you gotta you you said you gotta do it. You gotta mean what you say. Rule two. Rule two, you can't be talking out your head and you don't know what you're talking about. You can't be saying things just to say it and you don't know what you're talking about. Because God is a man of his word. He said, Let there be light and the sky turn black. No. Bible said, God said, y'all said, let there be light, and there was light. He was a man of his word, rule two. You have to be a man of your word. So young people, understand, you got to say what you mean and mean what you say. You can't just be talking and saying things out of place. Because God is laying the foundation for you. And you can always go back to them verses I'm reading to you. He said, let there be light, and there was light. So you have to be a man of your word. You have to mean what you say. You have to, you have to stick to it. Because God's showing you by example of, of, of what he expecting out of you as a man. Not a boy. A man. And it's good to let your kids hear this so when they get bigger and older, on, they already have a mindset of how a man supposed to think. How a man supposed to be. You get what I'm saying? And, and that, that just that just the level, the level of the thinking in the process. That that just the level. You have to work and you have to be a man of your word. There go two rules I just gave you, just that quick. Why you consider things insignificant? Because first thing your child said, well, how to be a man? Woman, you get a job. No, it's a foundation. It's a foundation because because you got to have the mindset. If you don't have a mindset, then it serves no purpose. You might never get a job. That's the case. So uh, it, it's the mindset. So so these kids need to know where everything is coming from, and, and it's not just somebody just telling you you need to do this. No, they need to know where it's coming from so they got to have an understanding. When they're going in life in a direction, a path they're going, they have to know what they have to aim for and where, what, what, what direction they need to go. So, 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 so that's what I'm giving you. I gave you two rules just that quick. You have to work and you have to be a person of your word. Point blank. That's it. So any, any, so anything. 
any race, any people, and country that don't keep their word is of the devil. Anything, any race, any people, country that don't keep their word is of the devil. Feel me on that. Understand that. So, 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 so you have to be a person on your word. And you can't be a liar. That's the third rule I just gave you. A liar. You can't be a liar. You have to be a person on your word. You can't be a liar and you have to work. I just gave you three rules. Just that quick. Interesting, huh? Three rules. Three rules. Any, any Anything, any people, any race, any country that don't keep their word, they are the devil. Because you can see in the beginning, <clears throat> y'all kept it real. And like the young people say, y'all kept it 100. Not once did he tell a lie. Not once did he came up short. Not one time. Everything he said, it happened. And that's how you have to be. Everything you do, you have to do it. When you have your kids, you say, baby, I love you. You have to show that child love. You have to be a man of your word. No way around it. Because that's the standards and the level God is holding you up to. No way around it. No way around it. You have to work. You have to be a man on your word. You can't be a liar. Them three things. Them three things. Three things I done gave you. Okay, so check this out. Check this out now. So... What did Yahshua say about the devil in the beginning? Now, now, I don't told you about God in the beginning. But what did Jesus, who I call Yahshua, say about the devil in the beginning? John 8, St. John 8, chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer in the beginning. And abided not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie. He speaketh of his own. For he is, he is a liar. And the father of it. Since the beginning. Now you have who God said he is and you have who the devil is. God was the truth in the beginning and the devil was a lie in the beginning. So I done brought you two beginnings. The opposite of each other. God, the greater one, and the wannabe, the liar. So, 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 so when people pick up the characteristic of a liar, you picking up the characteristic of the devil. See, you just learned something else. Lying is of the devil. Not just of the devil, it's the characteristic of him. You picking up his traits. You ain't picking up God traits. You picking up the devil traits. So, so, so. So you have to understand what traits are you picking up. You have to understand. You have you have to understand it. You have to. So when people are lying on you, they are children of the devil. Period. Point blank. Why she lying on me? Why why are you lying? They the children of the devil. That's the trait of the devil. That's why they lying. Because in the beginning, he was a liar. That's the trait. So don't question it. Understand it. So when it happened, you like, that's the devil. Genesis chapter 1, 
Verse 25 starts off with, again, you all have to read these chapters because I'm not reading these chapters. Again, start off with, Yah made. You heard me? Genesis in chapter 1, verse 25 starts out with, Yah made. That's that that's made. So that means he had to do something. All the all to make something, you have to do something. Y'all made. What did he make? He made the beast, the cattle, and everything that creeps upon the earth after his own time. What is y'all talking about? Again, he created. I'm going to repeat that. The beast, the cattle, and every creepy thing that walk upon the face of the earth after his own time. He didn't say after his own image, after his own time. What is he talking about? What is, what is God talking about? Because you know you got horses. You have cows, you have birds, you have lions, you have you have bats, you have rats, you have cats, you have grasshoppers, you have scorpions, you have worms, you have spiders. What is God talking about? He created. The cattle, the beasts, and every creeping thing that walketh upon the earth after his own kind. He didn't say after his image. He said after his own kind. That's deep. Well, I don't see how that's deep. You said it's deep. I don't see how it's deep. Okay. After his own kind. Okay, let's look at how the birds feed their young. In a nest, which we call home. So you telling me the bird provides a nest for her babies? I just gave away another room, provider. Dang, I just gave away another room. So I don't say a word. I don't say you have to be a man on your word. You can't be a liar, liar and now you have to be a provider. That's how many rules I gave. Go back to the video to get the rules. Work. A man of your word. You can't be a liar. And you have to be a provider. Four rules I just gave you. Four rules I, get, I just gave you. Just gave it to you. I just gave it to you. Again, what is y'all talking about? He created the animals after his own kind. I am sorry to break the bad news, but this is very important. Because what is the characteristic of the animals? What are the, what are the characteristics of the animal? What are they? What are? Because y'all made them after his own kind, so what are they characteristics? Okay, let's look at the bald eagle for an example. The male parent does most of the honey, but we could substitute the word honey with here go the word again, working. So the male parent does most of the working. Even the animals male knows the work. Ain't God wonderful? Even the male ego know the work. Without, and he had to go to school to learn that. He didn't have to go to school to learn that. The male eagle knows he has to work. He knows he has to work. Interesting. Interesting. Because now you're looking at the character of a man through an animal. Because you got to remember God created them after his own what? Kind. Oh, this is gonna get this. This here gonna get even deeper. 
This hair gonna get even deeper. So now you see that it, the animals, the male animal, know the work. But I let my girl take care of me. Then you're not a man. You just look like one. You you're not a man. You just look like one. That's all. That's all. The male parent does most of the hunting. But here you go. Here you go. The female ego does most of the feeding of the her little babies. She feeds the little babies. She she's in the nest. You know, like caregiving. Taking care of the home, making sure everything's all right while he's going out looking for something to cook, looking for something to pay the light bill with, looking for something to pay the mortgage and the rent with, you know. While he doing that, she said, you know what, let me get these clothes together. Huh, let me make sure brother man, when he get home, he going to be comfortable. Huh? Huh? Yeah. You you starting to see the picture and the concept here, or 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 the or the or it's not clear to you yet. Are you seeing it? Hmm. He doing mo most now. That's another thing. Listen to my wording. I said more. I say he did all the honey. See, fellas, I ain't hey. I'm keeping it real. I ain't I ain't say. He did all the honey, but he did most of the honey. Why she did most of the feeding? I ain't say she had to do all the feeding, but she did most of the feeding when it came to the babies. Huh? She did most of the feeding. You have to listen. To what I'm saying because I am saying that a male eagle does most of the honey. But not, not all the honey. That's a hit for the black sisters. Now check it out. Check it out. Check it out black men. The female eagle. The female eagle. You ready for it guys? Does majority of the feeding. And the male eagle will feed. Here you go. Now this is the part guys get mad about. Here's the part the men get mad about. The male ego feed, will feed the babies when the female wants to go hang out with the other female ego and say she want to go to the club, she want to hang out with a girl, she might want to travel here and now. Then the man, the man, male ego don't get mad. He just feed the babies while she gone. She might want to go look for a job. He just feed the babies while she go. He don't make it hard for him when he lock out the door. He don't make it hard for her by calling her ten times less than one minute. He say, "Go on, go on, baby, go enjoy yourself. I got these kids, and leave it alone." The characteristic of a man: responsibility, being strong, being mentally built, and not being dependent, and have a nervous breakdown. Not being controlling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to be independent. And you can't be controlling. God, dog. That's, there go six rules right there. Let me. I don't know if I can remember them all. Let me see. You got to work. You have to be a man of your word. You can't lie. You have to be a provider. You have to be independent, mentally, physically, and you can't be controlling. Six rules. Now, y'all better get these six rules down, because I ain't going to keep repeating these rules over and over and over again. So, that's, 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 that's six rules right there. Just that quick, I gave you six rules. Six rules. Just that quick. Just that quick. Six rules. Now check this out, check this out, check this out. Now I want you to pay close attention and remember Genesis 1 verse 25 said, Y'all made the beast of cattle and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind 
Check this out now. I told y'all now I'm gonna be reading all these chapters. But I need you, I want you to go in the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 1, verse verse 5. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna read chapter 1, verse 5. It says, also out of the mist, therefore came the likeness of four living creatures. That that this was their appearance. That they had the likeness of a man. He did not say they was a man. But they had the likeness of a man. Meaning they had some resemblance as a man. But they was not the same as a man. We talking about angels now. Ah, see. I'm talking about the angels. And, and, and Ezekiel describing how some angels look. Remember he when he created the creatures in Genesis in Genesis now you can't forget that now you can't you can't forget Genesis when he created he said I made man I made I made, yet you know y'all made the beast the cattle and everything that creepeth upon the earth remember that you can't let that verse go out your head you got to remember that verse. You got to remember that verse. You can't let that verse go out your head. You can't do it. You got to remember the verse. You can't. You got to. You got to. You got, you got to. You got to remember that verse. You can't. You can't let it go. So now four creatures came out of the midst of Ezekiel, chapter one, verse five. That looked like man, but not like man. Understand? They resemble. How resemble Some similarities to a man. But they not like a man, so understand. The, the you know you got to understand, understand. Now let's go further down to Genesis chapter one verse ten, and it said, "As for the likeness of their face, as for the likeness of their face, as for the likeness of their face says, because it was for me, for the likeness of their faces." For the likeness of their faces, they four had the face of a man and the face of a lion on the right side, and they had a fourth had the face of an ox on the left side. They had four also had the face of an eagle. You telling me you got angels? Look like the animals on the earth? For I created them after, after my own kind. So you telling me an angel could come to you looking like a horse? I just read it. I just told you. And I just gave you the scriptures. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. You telling me an angel could come looking like a rat and knock and say the Lord sent me? Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. I just read the verse to you. Ezekiel chapter 1 verse 10. I'm going to read it again. Because y'all don't believe I'm reading this stuff. As for the likeness of their faces. They four had the face of a man. And the face of a lion. On the right side. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side. They four also had the face of an eagle. I'm not lying. So you can see how important, how much y'all, here you go, here you go, here you go. Another rule loves his creatures, his creations. That he made them out of angels. The thing that you feel that's insignificant, God made an angel for it. Well, I don't like horses. They stink. I don't like God got an angel look like a horse. I don't like rats. Those rats, oh, they so nasty. He got an angel look like a rat. For your mind is not like, not, not like my mind. For your thoughts are not like my thoughts.
Ain't that what God said? Love is number seven. That he loved his creation till he created the his his creation after the angels. He created his creations, the animals after the angels. And that what this song say, what a mighty God we serve. I'm just read it. I just read it to you. I just read it to you. All you got to do is go back and look it up and see if I'm not. I'm not lying. Cause you think angels, all those pretty things you see on TV and on a magazine, no way, no how. It's called a reality check right now. Then that's what I'm here to give you a reality, a reality check. He just said he created the beast, the cattle, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his own kind. People, you have been lied to. People, you've been lied to. Why lie to me? So you can feel God. If, 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 if an angel ever come, you're going to feel. Because you're not going to believe an angel could come to you looking that way. Because you've been tricked by what you see on TV. By what you see on a magazine. You've been tricked. You've been tricked. You been tricked. You've been tricked. You've been tricked. And all of so you can feel y'all. Oh, Satan's smart, huh? He's very smart. He's very smart that he, he created the opposite. So if God do come to you, you're going to run like hell. He's smart. He is smart. He is smart. He is smart. I'm running out of time, so let me hurry up and finish this. He is smart. He is smart. So welcome to the game. That's why I call it the game. Welcome to the game. Because now you're waking up and you're starting to see the game. The lies that the game brings to you. You're starting to see it. You're starting to see it. You're starting to see it. I told you in my previous video that angels came down from heaven and raped the black women. Look up the pictures of the Egyptian God and look at how they look like the animals on the earth. If you think I am lying. Everything. I said came from the Bible. I am not lying. I have no reason. I have nothing to gain. Uh, I'll finish up. You know, so those are just a couple of rules I'm giving to you. In a way you could show your child the mind of God, the thoughts of God, how God is, God ways. That way you could break them from the stereotype in which media and this in this government is it, it, it's stirring you to believe. Because if God ever come to you, trust me, you when you're a run. Because you will never think God has sent an angel looking like a goat to give you a message. So check it out. This is Boris and I'm out.